I'm very privileged to hold this position, to be the Chief Executive of Everton in the community. That privilege comes with an extensive level of responsibility and I remind myself of that each and every day. The participants we have on many of our programmes are so fragile or so vulnerable that we have to get it right. Everton in the community is Everton Football Club's official charity. We were established back in 1988 with an agenda in the first instance to look at combating crime and antisocial behaviour going into areas of high deprivation in Liverpool city region. Significantly in the last five years we've changed our programme. We're supplying over 53 social programmes to the local communities. When I've been growing up, I've had a bad day in school because things have been happening at home. My dad had issues with alcohol. He was aggressive towards my mum. It was hard to see him drinking, keep drinking. I was always getting into trouble in school and then I was getting sent home and my future ain't looking good. It came up for me to go into Everton Free School. It was like a breath of fresh air. My life just turned around then and really positive things were happening to me and I was getting the best opportunities. A kid my age can dream of. I was coaching, I was meeting players. How I am now, my confidence is just shot right up because I get more and more responsibility. It, it makes me grow as a person. My mum's just so proud of me because I'm doing things with such a big club like Everton. Like any kid my age would dream of doing the things I'm doing with the club. I started on the railway in 1970, trainee train driver, then became train driver, then I became a manager. I suddenly just shut down one day. The wife said, what's wrong with you? And I said, I don't know. I got to see a psychiatrist and he says, you've got young onset dementia, Alzheimer's. And it just felt as if your whole world had collapsed. I found out you get this superpower when you get dementia. You can go into a room full of people. They'll talk around you, about you, and over you. So you've got the ability to become invisible. And it used to be the loneliest place in the world. So I explained what it was like from my point of view, what it was like to actually have dementia. I started coming to Everton in the community pass on the memories, start to get my confidence back again. This group has actually saved my life. When you were stuck in the house in one little chair, you come out and then you become friends and then you become a community. Pass on the memories is so unique and everyone looks to have it in the community. Pass on the memories as, as the catalyst to what their group should be. There are very, very important stories. Um, you can imagine every single first team player, uh, the staff. We are very proud ambassadors of that work that the charity is doing. Everton in the community brings that bridge. And we feel extremely humble and I'm very, very proud of the work that the charity is doing and, and the response that we get from everyone. 